Hey guys, what is up? Gelmig here and today we're looking at the Scarecrow figure from McFarlane Toys straight from the Batman Arkham Knight video game. Now, right off the bat, one of the coolest figures that McFarlane Toys has released so far. Maybe being biased because Scarecrow is one of my favorite villains in the DC Universe. But is he a good figure? Yes, but not perfect. Something to, there are lots of things to talk about. So let's get him off this rotating stand and take a closer look at, at how he is. Scarecrow. Again, like I said, he's one of my favorite villains and I think McFarlane Toys does not disappoint in that regard. You can see him chock full of details, chock full of just menacing, just a lot of menacing details to him right off the bat. Coming in closer, take a look at his face sculpt. Look at those eyes. Those are really, really cool eyes. You can see the burlap sack and the, the ventilators right under there. We're having a hard time there. You can see his teeth showing from underneath the mask. And the, the yellow eyes are almost, almost perfect. I like how the, you know, the, hood, the way the hood comes over when it's natural light, when it's not light pointing and pointing straight into his face. You can see this, the, the shadows really create a really menacing look for him. And that is really cool. You can see all the details on the hood and all over the figure, all the stitching done right there, coming down to his backpack, which is a all soft, most of his torso is a soft rubber, rubber material. There's a lot of details here. The, the issue is, you know, not everything's painted. So you can see a lot of like the, the straps here are not painted, but details wise, he does not fall short. You can see all the stitching. And this one also comes down straight from his arms. You can see right there. So when, you, when you're moving his arms, it does break it a little bit, but it doesn't look so bad unless you're looking at right at exactly the seam. But, you know, moving the arms, it's not going to, it's not really that, that big of an issue. He has a noose, which is uh, a separate piece. It, this is removable if you if you take out his head and remove this this piece, which we'll talk about later. You have his whole slew of canisters here, which is painted like this gunmetal bluish silver color not perfectly painted but it's okay i think it looks like it's a little bit worn but you know with the lack of all the other paint on the tubes on the like the strap here it's kind of it stands out and it's a little bit not disappointing per se it just you know i wish it could have been painted a lot better this is all rubber which connects to his waist piece which is also rubber so the the chest piece underneath is hard plastic, but all this, all of this is is rubber, and this is the hose are actually the hoses are actually connected to the waist piece, I believe. You can see this arm injector thing there with the four needles at the end. Again, and his fist right there. Again, missing paint on the gloves. Missing paint all throughout. There could have been more of that metallic blue paint all over the this metal not really glove piece is it it's more like a what do you call those arm gauntlet piece i guess coming down to his waist you see all the hoses that that are a part of the sculpt they're not separate pieces which is fine his legs are asymmetrical you can see his right leg it looks like it's uh Looks like he's fine. The sculpting on the jeans are great. You can see the boots right there. And there is this is the joint. It is sculpted like the boot. So unique sculpting on the joints. Whereas the left leg, he's coming, he has braces, metal braces, which actually accurate to the game and actually gives him sort of that. It, it gives him a vibe, it gives him a look like, you know, he's sort of injured, but he's still here to F you up. Coming back closer to the legs. So, yeah, like I said, it comes down to the feet. The feet, there are braces as well here, but they're not connected, which for the most part is fine. There are some parts where you do see it, but I do believe they kept it disconnected for the articulation, which is okay. It does come around to the foot, but as you can see, it doesn't hinder his standing ability at all. It's kind of leveled with the shoe, which is okay with me. Shoe again. 
uh, the leather boot, I mean. And I haven't had problems with sanding him so far, unlike unlike other figures. Going back to the trench coat, you can see at the back you have the all the canisters again with that nice blue steel sort of vibe and the tubes. You have the pockets, which are not none of them are painted, and the trench coat over here, which doesn't look like I mean, I feel like it's a bit short. Like if you wear a trench coat, it should come down here normally. So this is kind of short, but it still looks hella cool. So again, such a cool looking figure out of the box. He looks menacing as heck. Is he perfect? No, I think he, he has a lot he has a lot to there are ways to go in terms of the paint, but he does still look cool and you know. Especially in normal lighting, not in studio lighting. He looks really menacing. For for character just wearing all black, he stands out. I forgot to mention this uh, hose is attached to both his upper arm and his lower arm. But if you look at the articulation later, it doesn't really hinder it at all. As you can see. And speaking of articulation, we can go through that right now. This head is on a single ball joint. Which gives you... Which give you this much range, not really that much range actually. You can't look that far up, you can't look that far down without... Because there's so much kibble, I guess. And I will show you real quick. Popping the head off. It is a joint up here. His, his head is one piece. And then again, his noose comes off if you wanted to. And his neck, let me focus on that, it's not necessarily, it, I think it's a, it's a stuck piece in there. It doesn't necessarily move or anything. I did try moving it. I did try heating it. It didn't want to budge. I didn't want to break my figure. So I will just say that it is a single ball joint that doesn't really give you that much range of articulation. Now let's put this head back. The... the Articulation does not change very much with or without the noose, so there you go. The shoulders, they do rotate back and forward. It does get hindered by the by the coat piece in its back and forward movement. It does go up. Mine is very very stiff here. I do like to pop it out before I, before I move it, but you can see this is how far it it can go up theoretically. Um, and of course, you know it up that far there is a cut on the bicep right under the the strap which is a good place for a cut for a cut I guess this one does not have and you can see you can actually see when it coming out of this coming out of the box there's a lot of grease or lubricant on this figure just something I've noticed more than the other figures double jointed elbows and you can see how well that works even before using the other joint those two together oh yeah you can get it to do whatever you want to do he can call give me a call i forgot to mention in the details the hands look at the hands right there let me get a close-up of the hands focus it's in this uh sort of sinister position right there and their fingernails are sculpted and they are kind of sharp just just so you know. On this side, the joints move just as far. Doesn't get hindered by the the rubber piece. Although I do feel like over time, if I keep using that, it'll wear in there. But that's fine. The torso moves down just a little bit. Up not that much. Oh, up more than, than down actually. So it moves up that much. Down that much. You can see it scrunches up the wires here. Side to side. Again, not very much. You can't turn it too much without pulling on the the... The tubes so that kind of sucks but he wasn't a very mobile character anyway in the game so there's that his feet his legs go out that far his leg theoretically has a nice double joint but because of the trench coat it does not really allow it to move too much this is only a single joint which works okay because again the trench coat will not allow it to move too much yeah, it's a single joint. The feet 
have your articulation just the right amount of articulation even if it is sculpted and then you have the toes this side you only you have the up and the down and now not much rotation it's in a brace it can't move the arms the hands by the way have that McFarlane joint and hidden well except you can't move it that much far for that far out and in because of how recessed it is so articulation I will give it it has decent articulation not the best not that Scarecrow needs that much of articulation but you don't really get that option even if he can now we'll go on to comparisons first off I wanted to bring in the Joker figure this the three Jokers because he they have a similar you know sinister vibe with the hood and the hat I just I love this Joker and I love this Scarecrow bringing in the titular Arkham Knight with the weakest weakest ball joint weakest foot joints ever as well as the Arkham Knight Batman right there so you can see how they stand together Scarecrow not standing much taller than Batman I feel like he should stand at least the same height but he doesn't but they do look good together they are from the same game so if you want an accurate dip, if you want an accurate display here you have it Arkham Knight for me being one of my favorite games of the series the story was great and it was just fun to play bringing in now my standard review review comparison here he is with McFarlane John Stewart Green Lantern and Marvel Legends Iron Man so you can see how they stack if you're mixing and matching collections Marvel DC so my final thoughts on this figure might be riddled with bias but I do love the scarecrow character I do love his depiction in Arkham Knight and out of the box this is one of my favorite favorite depictions of scarecrow and the most excited I've been for a figure so far I am getting the amber version of it the is it the gold label repaint I can't remember but I am so excited for this figure and I'm so excited to have it and McFarlane did not disappoint is it perfect no not by a long shot but it is still a great looking figure I do realize now that there's a lot of paint missing here in the mouth but I think that's not the worst thing in the world I didn't notice it when the lights were not on I did forget he does come with accessories but not really much he comes with a collector he comes with a card so you can see how how cool he looks and a stand which yeah it's not exactly a one-to-one -one representation of scarecrow based on the card like but you know this has if this was taken from the game you know there's a lot of like shading and lighting i'm cool with the scarecrow and i'm excited for the amber version as well so you know he could use more accessories Again, is this the perfect figure? I don't know if it is, but am I super happy with it? Hell yes. It, it, it catches the vibe of Scarecrow. It catches the, the fear-mongering character that Scarecrow, has, that Scarecrow is, and I am just excited to have him in my collection. A really, really good Scarecrow from McFarland Toys. <laughs> I know that they've, he's released a couple in the past. I'm not sure if the, Infi if the Infinite Frontier one has been released yet, but... The colors in that oof, are rough and the half scarecrow was cool in concept but i really wanted a scarecrow that i can stand beside batman and look menacing so that has been my review let me know what you think of this figure down in the comment section below if you're looking forward to it if it's a bit far too late because the batman games did come out a long long time ago let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section below and if you like this video hit that like button subscribe to my channel for more videos like this coming your way. I will see you guys soon. If you don't subscribe, Scarecrow is coming for you. Of course, out of frame, but you know, he's still 
coming for you. Nah.